you would put the keywords in and you would put the information in and the keyword would automatically create all the campaigns and all the ads and, and, and separate the keywords and, and make them broad and make them match and, and make them a phrase and, and they would and, and the software would uh, apply a, a bid, would, would select a bid for all the keywords and all that with bi variables and, and all that. And I thought that was such an amazing system. And when I used to work for them, I thought if I could have a system like that, uh, I, I would be making as much profit as they're making. And that was years ago. And these guys have finally come with this software that everyone can use. You know, you just have to buy it from my website, superaffiliatestoolsexplain.com, and, and and you can for yourself, you can see for yourself what this tool can do. But anyway, enough pricing, and let's just actually see what the tool can do with this little campaign. So I'm copying the keywords here. So we have a uh, these are okay. Let's just start explaining more about the software now. So as you can see here, these are some of my campaigns, which I am showing you the campaigns that I've been creating. So you can see that I've been using this software. I'm not just talking, you know. I, I really, really am putting myself forward and I'm putting myself on the line for these software programs. That's why I'm selling them. That's why I'm recommending them to you. Uh, because these three so software programs together have changed my life. They have changed my life. And you can see that I it's just not words. I, I, these are all campaigns that I have been doing in the past. I didn't mean to show them to you because I'm showing you too much information there. But uh, if it means that you're going to use these tools and get the most out of them, then it's okay. All right, and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. Uh, okay, here you put a campaign name. This is a campaign name that it's going to show on Google, MSN, Yahoo. For today, today we're just going to use uh, AdWords. You know, we're going to create a campaign for AdWords. AdWords. So. Okay, we're gonna call it conversational hypnosis. So when the when we upload a campaign to AdWords, it's gonna be called conversational hypnosis. Conversational hypnosis. Okay. So we have all the keywords. These are what in the this software calls these seed keywords, because with this software. You can either create a single call campaign, which is what we're going to do today, a very simple campaign, based on a seed keyword list, or you can do a dual campaign, meaning that you can combine keywords. This is another thing this software does. It combines keywords and then creates a massive amount of, a massive list of keywords. Like, let's say that I was promoting a, a something that you can expand, so many things that you can expand on. A cars, maybe? Okay, uh, simple, for example, cars. So you put car and buy car and buy uh, purchase car and car quote. And then on the expansion keywords here, you put like thousands of different car models. So you put Ford, Buick, Chevrolet, uh, Nissan, all of them. So what this does, it combines them. Combines them, uh, it can do it before the keyword, after the keyword, both. And there's also a don't mix pair type, which once you purchase the tool and go through, the, they have a fantastic uh, uh, area with a training area with all videos explaining in detail how to use this tool much more in much more uh, take make make the most out of it and, and and to use it for bigger campaigns and more detailed campaigns and, and more expanded. Campaigns. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. Dual, which is if you wanna combine keywords. Domain, uh, it's if you wanna create a domain campaign based on a seed list of domain names, automatically generating a list of domain variations. I've never used that, but uh, yeah, maybe when once I start getting to know the tool even better, I'll I'll be able to show you more on that too. Or you can just when you purchase the tool, look at the videos which uh, explain absolutely everything. Uh, so you can group keywords by seed, by expansion, by final, which a final is the keyword, the final keyword. So when you've combined the seed keyword 
with the with the expansion keyword you get a final keyword so let's say power of conversational and then you have to hypnosis here then it would combine power of conversational and hypnosis and you would get one keyword which is the final keyword so when you're doing your groups and, op and you are to upload them to AdWords or any other search engine you would have a group one group for every seed every expansion keyword or every final keyword in this case we're going to do it by seed meaning that we'll have an ad group an a, a very highly targeted ad group for every keyword which will help us with the quality score in Google because instead of just advertising for like say let's say hypnosis and have a generic ad for hypnosis we're going to have an ad group that is going to be called by conversational hypnosis with a keyword that is going to be by conversational hypnosis with an ad group that is going to have by conversational hypnosis in the ad in the ad text so it can't get any more targeted than that and the domain is going to be we're going to have conversational hypnosis as well as I'm going to show you later so for this one we're going to group by C uh, then mix type that's if you uh, you use a, a a dual campaign as well as I explained uh, and you can also choose as you can see here it's not highlighted because I've chosen a single one but if I wanted to choose dual it's gonna highlight it you can choose to also include the root word meaning root word meaning that not only you're gonna get the expansion keywords under an ad group or uh, I mean not only you're gonna get the final keywords under an ad group but you're also gonna get the root words meaning the the seed keywords or the seed keywords per ad group. Uh, let's go back to single. You can assign the group a name if you don't want to have a group. If you don't want to have one group per keyword or big seed expansion or fine. You can also assign. You can also a. Uh, You can also yeah, group it by additional ad group text. You can read it there. Whatever you put in this text field will add this the string to either before or after the ad group name that is automatically gener generated for you. Okay, so you can do that too. I've never done that. Uh, here too, if you for example import a list uh, of keywords from somewhere else that you haven't, uh, let's say, 5,000 keywords and you haven't been able to go through all the keywords and this will save you a lot of space, to, uh, a lot of time and you haven't had the chance to go through all the keywords then what you need to do uh, is tick here, extra spaces and bad characters and this will get rid of all the extra spaces, clean all the extra spaces and all the bad characters in the keywords so when you import when you create these campaigns and when you upload these keywords to uh, AdWords, you don't get like, oh, we can't, this keyword is illegal because it has bad characters. So this gets rid of all the bad characters for you. And this is also more of these here. Uh, now, so we've got a campaign name and we've got all our seed keywords. So let's go pricing e and URL. Now this is fantastic. Uh, this is great uh, but I'm not going to be doing anything here at the moment because here we're going to use the URLs from Conversion Profit so for now we'll leave this for now I'll explain it later when we've gone to Conversion Profit created the, the URLs the keyword tracking URLs and then I'll explain here what we do but let's say okay Okay, I'm, I'm going to explain it anyway because I think it may be simple to do it this way. Uh, I have no script for this, okay? I just decided to sit down, create a campaign, and have you watching over my shoulder while I'm doing it. So I, I'm, I really didn't prepare for this. So if you find this a little bit all over the place, please let me know. And then I'll prepare a little bit more for the next case study. But if you like my style and you like that this is very fresh and very natural and there's not no contrivance whatsoever then then let me know too okay so let's say that you go here and you go create hop link and you go in my nickname and you go uh, super id oh no and then here you go c that's not 
another thing too. Clickbank doesn't allow you more than three characters or something like that. For yeah, three characters for a tracking ID. But in most affiliate networks, when you go to my site and you go to the left and you look at the networks, all the networks that I use, all the networks that I use, all of them except for Clickbank, which I don't like. They do that. It's one of the things that I like the least about Clickbank, Clickbank and also that they only pay you by check. Uh, but anyway, that's the only choice that you have with Clickbank. All the networks that I use allow you to use a longer tracking ID, which is essential for good tracking, I find, uh, and for really, really 